sweat is produced by the body as a normal mechanism to regulate body temperature. Hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating is a common ailment when an individual sweats too much beyond what is normally needed by the body. Hyperhidrosis is not a serious health threat, although it can cause embarrassment and low self-esteem. Sweating normally occurs in different parts of the body. But excessive sweating can be isolated in one area, such as armpits or generalized, which involves the entire body. Hyperhidrosis has two types, which are primary focal hyperhidrosis and secondary generalized hyperhidrosis. Primary focal hyperhidrosis is idiopathic excessive sweating. It is neither caused as a side effect of a medication nor by another medical condition. Primary focal hyperhidrosis is usually symmetric in nature, which means that it occurs on both sides of the body. It can be hereditary. Secondary generalized hyperhidrosis is caused by another medical condition or is a side effect of medication. It is usually experienced on larger areas of the body and may be experienced even during sleeping. Use of antiperspirants is the simplest method to relieve hyperhidrosis. Medications like aluminium chloride, which is applied on the skin, and systemic medications like anticholinergics, beta blockers, or benzodiazepines can in some cases also be given to treat hyperhidrosis. With excessive hand sweating, a surgery called endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy can be done or iontophoresis can be applied. Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy treats hyperhidrosis by cutting or destroying the nerve, causing too much sweating of the hands. This is a permanent solution. Iontophoresis blocks sweat output by sending electrical current through the skin. This treatment can be performed at home. Usually in the beginning, treatment is carried out 8 to 10 days, daily for 15 minutes. Then, on average, 1 to 2 times treatment per week is sufficient to maintain the effect. For hyperhidrosis in the armpits, procedures such as Axillary suction curatage and subdermal laser ablation of sweat glands, as well as administration of Botox injections, are available. Axillary suction curatage is a procedure where the sweat glands are removed. A positive result is permanent. With subdermal laser ablation, sweat glands found underneath the skin are destroyed using laser. This will also provide a permanent result. With Botox injection, a substance is injected that blocks the signals from the nerves that stimulate the sweat glands that produce sweat, causing the sweating to stop. Usually this stops sweating for about four to six months. Then the treatment should be repeated. Please contact your general practitioner for further information.